we talk about tomorrow, here's a bulletin for you. There is no imagination crisis in this country, especially here at Disney World. We've gathered a panel of imagination experts just to prove it. Imagination, it's a good word, especially when it's spelled with a capital I. And here's Disney's newest authority on imagination from the Imagination <laughs> Pavilion here at Epcot. He is Dreamfinder. Hello there, Brian. Good to have you here at Epcot. <laughs> and who is Dreamfinder? Well, I'm kind of the host of the Journey into Imagination show out here at Epcot Center. I travel all over the universe collecting the stuff dreams are made of. Sounds, colors, ideas, anything that sparks the imagination. And I store these sparks in the Journey into Imagination Pavilion. And the guests and I recombine them into new ideas and new inspirations. I am left to assume that you do not dream alone. Who's your little purple oh, Well, friend? this is actually something I dreamed of. This is my figment. And I'm very proud of you. You see, I threw together the, the two tiny wings, the nose of a crocodile, the horns of a dilemma, and all the calm and reserve of a small child's birthday party. <laughs> and so... He, with his, his curious and naive way of looking at life, shows me things that I would never have guessed in my own uh, knowledge and experience. If you are the spirit of imagination, then the gentleman to your left certainly might be called the father of imagination. He is one of Disney's Imagineers, and he helped come up with the idea for Dream Finder and Figment. His name, Barry Braverman. We welcome you. Um, Imagineer. I had the feeling I just invented a new word. Is that a profession? Is that a personal statement? Well, it's a term we use at WED to describe what we do. We think it's a kind of a unique blend of art and engineering, so we've coined that phrase. Imagination is a very difficult thing to characterize. It's difficult to, to capture and picture. What is it you've set out to do? Well, what we've, we've tried to do, as the Dreamfinder indicated, is give a very simple kind of a scheme for how the imaginative process works in this pavilion. And, and what we've done is boiled it down to three steps, gathering, uh, storing, and then recombining into new things. And we, we want to say to people that imagination is something we all share. It's, it's a common ability that we all have. And all we need to do is, is look at the world in an open and, and uh, risk-taking way, and, and we can begin this process. There is room for imagination in your future vision of the world, but it's imagination of a different sort, right? Well, we are trying to show uh, kind of the arts and the softer side of, of, of the imagination uh, idea here in this pavilion. Uh, energy and transportation and communication stories are being told well in other parts of the project. And our goal was to kind of remind people that uh, without the arts, without somebody with a, willing to take a risk and have a new idea, you really don't have much of a future at all. You actually do blend um, imagination and technology, such as we're seeing here, where people, by dancing on various color patterns can what create music yeah this is part of uh, an area we call the image works and it's a hands-on area where people get a chance to try out new technologies for creativity and so we see them uh, dancing along stepping tones uh, manipulating these enormous kaleidoscopes that are just like the ones you used as a child but but much larger and this is a videographic system that we created for the image works called magic palette it allows the guests to load up their brush with different electronic inks and paint right on a, a CRT screen let me ask you by using the technology Technology, are you not in, in fact taking away some of the creativity? I mean, doesn't one have to start from point zero to be totally creative? Well, that's really not the position we're taking. We think that, that these new tools just simply enhance the palette of, of things that you can work on. Uh, we, we always tell the story about the invention of the piano. Probably at some point someone thought that was a, a very threatening machine and would end creativity, but in fact it's, it's made things more creative. And we feel the same way about computers and sensing devices and so on. And what of Dreamfinder and Figment? Do you fit into the family that includes Goofy and Pluto and Mickey and Snow White and Cinderella, or are you truly apart? Are you the future? No, I'm uh, part of the same spirit, actually. I'm more of, of the original spirit. The same thing that led to them created me, and as I was there when they were created. Then let me say thank you to all three of you, Barry Braverman for giving us these two, for Dreamfinder, and for Figment. Figment, take care of yourself, will you? I assume he's got something to sleep at some point. <laughs> in keeping with the Disney ideal, you need no passport to travel from country to country in the World Showcase. So let us travel now on a brief trip to Japan. In Japan, a performer who practices an art form that's 2,000 years old. He makes sculptures out of candy. The Today Show will be back after these messages.